Hi, Go Green team. My name is Kate Apostoli, and I am a sales leader in Rockland, California, which is a little north of Sacramento. And I've been with Norwick since 2016. And I get to talk to you today about vendor events, which is one of my favorite ways to just meet new people and to share our mission. Um, so some people either, either love them or hate them. Or, um, and if you don't know yet, give it a try. That's my advice to you. Um, so the first thing, I, I thought I had nothing to say and then I started writing it down. I have a lot to say, so I'm going to be quick. Um, the, how do you find events? Check on Facebook. We have a couple groups in the area that their purpose is to be a um, kind of a dumping ground. They curate all of the local craft and vendor events. Some of them are handmade crafts only, so that one, we wouldn't be eligible for that, but that'll say if direct sales are included. And they'll sometimes say what, at the event, they'll be like what, what they already have full. Um, so check that out. Um, I will caution you, there are some scammers who have found out that we will pay money for a vendor event um, and they don't have an event. So find a way to maybe kind of check on the event or be alert in your communication with the organizer and kind of what's happening there. Um, you can also check with your local church or ask your friends kind of where they've shopped in the holidays and um, maybe find those organizers. So then when you get to the event, things that you need. The first one is I would, if you have any Norwex gear, wear your Norwex gear. I have made contacts as I go to the restroom to rinse out my cloths, start conversations. People will come back with me to the booth, see the demo, um, and you know, made sales and friends and customers, all of that. So it's just great to label yourself um, what, however you can. This is our team jersey. This is an item that is currently um, in our Norwex Now shop. I'm excited to wear that this season. Um, so the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do the butter demo. So get some kind of mirror. And I use butter, other consultants use chapstick, um, body balm. I've just found butter works better. And what I do is I just kind of make a happy face on it. Um, and people are intrigued. And so I do that on repeat all day long. So. Um, but I love it because it definitely is a way to show how our products shine. So you're going to do that. Um, something you need, you need a square reader. So this is a way that you can accept credit card payments. Um, I don't think there's any charge for the reader and check with your upline because if you have a referral code, there may be, um, there's free processing for the first, I don't know, I think it's thousand dollars in sales. So check with your upline. They may, if, see if they have a square reader, if they have a code they can share with you. Um, okay, and you're going to get contact information from everyone, um, even if they buy just a body and face pack. Um, so I used to not take this because I'd be like, oh, they're just getting this, they're just getting that. And now it's just kind of like, this is how we do it. Because I missed out on the being able to follow up on a lot of people, and that is where I've made my sales in the future. And people that have come in my VIP group, people have come into my uh, rewards club. So get contact information for everyone, okay? The next thing I offer is I like to do um, a booking incentive. So I say, you know, if you'd like to book, it's, it's a good opportunity to talk about kind of our model and our party. Um, so if they want to book an event, either online, in person, or a referral code, once their event qualifies, which is three buying guests, 550 in sales, and one future booking, I will add, when we close out their party, I will purchase and add one of these items and they can pick. So sometimes, you know, if they say that sounds great, I'll make a note on their um, order form that they're interested in hosting and this is the item they chose. Um, what else do I have? I wanted to tell you guys what my top sellers are because it can be very intimidating. You can see some setups for different um, consultants and it really looks like they have a ton of product. And I am in that category because we I do home and garden shows, I do big shows, um, so I do have a lot of product. But truly, as I look at all of my sales from different events, these are the top sellers. Your basic package, the dust mitt, so a household package, but I think people, you know, it's nice to have them separate so they can just choose the basic or, you know, if they're dusting is their main thing, they'll grab that, get that body and face pack and the optic scarf. So those are my top sellers. So if you wanted to start somewhere, you can start small with that. Um, and the other thing that I do give people once they've made a purchase, I like to make samples of our laundry detergent um, along with a card that says kind of all the places they can use it. And I do use and care cards for products. So they have my information, um, how to use it. And then on the back it has, I've, I have a use and care 
Google site I've created and then a site about Norwex. So, so this is just something so I know they have my information and it has more on it than just a business card. Um, and then lastly, I have this contact this is introduction of myself, uh, my contact information, again, the QR code and whatever I'm promoting at the time. So at this time last spring, I was promoting my spring rewards club. So this is an offer that they could take this purchase today and apply it to this month. Um, and then they'd be on for the next two months and be members of my club. And then just another plug about hosting. So I think that's it. I'm out of time. Uh, if you haven't tried a vendor event, my challenge to you is this season to find one and give it a try and then come back and let us know how it went. All right. Have a great day, everyone.